Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Mentos Plays Spelunky. We are here uh, uh, to do the August, no, well, not August. Uh, the, why is this so bad? I think my headset has just turned off a lot. That would make sense. Okay, anyway, we're here to do the October 13th, 2013 Daily Challenge, which will hopefully go well for us. Uh, the, one that we did, the one that I did last night off camera, after uh, recording that Bulgar video, it actually went pretty well. Um, I mean, not great, but it went decently well all the way through. Um, I believe what happened was I was in the temple, all set to go to hell, and I accidentally got the scepter crushed by a blomp, and so at that point I kind of lost my motivation to continue, and kind of gave up on the run. And so, I mean, I was still trying to get a higher score, but I already had a couple hundred thousand, and I was a bit lazy about keeping going after such a depressing way to ruin what would have been a good hell run. That skeleton was a jerk, because I thought he was not going to come to life. Over here, we have a gold bar, not very useful, but better than nothing. Let's come over this way, get this gold bar as well. Exit is right down here. We're also gonna have to deal with this dad who made me jump way higher than I expected to. Um, I can't get those gold bars, it seems. If I maybe use that battle of the that battle of better. Oh, there we go. A lit better, a bit better. Um, it would have been much easier, but we did end up getting them at least, so that's a plus. Now we are here on mines 1 2, no special conditions it seems. We do have a shop down here, there's a bomb box, mystery box, bomb bag. Uh, we're just gonna let the damsel take a ball there. I suppose I could have grabbed that little rat and used him to block the arrow, but I didn't notice he was there until I accidentally ripped him up. So, I decided to record Spelunky today mainly after the root time, mainly because I am eagerly awaiting the Dark Souls 2 beta, and did not know what else to record that wouldn't take long and would be a nice easy thing to record. So, we ended up with Spelunky. Not really a big deal, but it's kind of the wise of why we're still playing Spelunky here, or why we're playing it today in particular, I guess I should say. We're going to I dropped the shop, even if I could have done that the easier way, I probably should have, so it would have saved me hell, but, not a big deal. So don't want to let the damsel get hit again, because she already took an arrow to the face. Oops. Up we go to get the gold, not very much, but this is obviously the daily challenge, it's all about score. Ooh, we have an altar. I like the looks of that. We're going to stay here for right now. Get my shotgun drop down here to the exit. And we just need to be very careful to not accidentally land on the exit when we fall. It's just going to be a matter of landing right over here. Awesome day, we'll kill one big, kill one spider. And put her here for a picture. Not the best item we could have asked for from that altar, but I won't complain about it, and it does get us closer to getting the Kapala. So, it's good in my opinion. Now move on to mines three here. Almost walked underneath this giant spider. I have been having some trouble lately with my keyboard just not registering when I hold up to throw a bomb upwards, which is really, really an annoying problem to have. But it's not consistent, it just happens sometimes. Well, I mean it is consistent, but it's not consistent as if it happens every time I can't get the throw to work. Uh, I'm not sure why it doesn't pick it up all the time, but it's really one of the weird little things that my laptop has done to me lately. Yeah, that's right, spider. Let's not put a bomb there because our damsel is inside of there. And we also have a little bit more gold. We have our chest and our key. Now I am extra happy that we blew up that area because now we can actually find the black market easily. Not that it's impossible without a chest and key because you know, the world record speedrunner has his record with no chest or key found. But, it's 
still something that's much easier, especially for those of us who aren't quite as good at the game. Um, shopkeeper is going to be kind of a pain to deal with. Honestly, getting the, uh, getting the capture point is kind of a problem at this point. Yep, yep. I was worried that might happen. And so that ended relatively quickly. At least I can hang my hat on yesterday's daily with 224,000 and rank 115. But yeah, that went very, very poorly, quite frankly. Um, I wish I had had a better way to shoot the shopkeeper. What I really should have done is bomb out the area I was standing on. So I was standing on the level with the shopkeeper. And then I could have just blasted him from a distance. Um, I figured that I could make that work. I just jumped and shot a split second too soon. And so he was able to jump over and shoot me before I could shoot him. Um, it happens. It's one of the terrors of killing shopkeepers is they do kill you. And it is something that is definitely not the easiest thing to avoid. But there are plenty of benefits that make up for it usually. And I would say, as a whole, the shopkeepers are not as much of a threat as not having as many items can be. You know, last night I had a really good run going. I couldn't go to the black market because I had no bombs. The game gave me chest after chest full of crates, no bombs, no shops, no altars. And so I was left with just having to surpass them. I passed by the black market. I don't know why I just walked with that snake. But yeah, I had to walk past the black market because I had no way to get into it. Which is really, really frustrating when that happens. Okay, Pods, you can, you can be jerked like that or you can just break open. I would say that was worth the rope. We got a good amount of gold there. So, bat, go die. Let's go get our damsel over on the far side here. That skeleton did not come to life. We did that one. Surprising. We also get a parachute. That's not really what I was hoping would be in that crate, but we'll live with it and we will move our way onwards. So we will head into the second area here. Progressively move our way downwards, hoping to have a nice shop to rob. Three bomb bags in case, not worth robbing, but worth buying everything. There are certain things where it's very easy to write the shopkeeper as being worth killing, but at the same time, there are also certain times when it's just, is the reward worth the risk, and for 12 times, for 9 bombs and paste, the reward wasn't really worth the risk. For some reason, I thought that was the right chest, and likewise, it's key now. Now, since we can see the chest from here, um, and I believe we're going to be able to get there. Indeed, we are going to toss our key down because that will allow us to bring the dams over with us. Grab all this stuff before we grab him. And now off we go. Wonderful adventure to bad position I myself. Which just got myself hurt because that key fell before I can move. There we go. Move those guys and then go grab Damsel. Who will be brought back to the exit with good times and help. Pot, so onward we go. We are hopefully going to be doing a little bit better on this run than we did on the last run. Shouldn't be too difficult, quite frankly, but I do apologize. It looks like I am getting some random frame rate stuttering in this video. I'm not sure why. There's really no reason for that, but it's not too, too horrible, I think. I don't know how much of that is actually in the video and how much is actually in the... Oops. And how much of that is actually just OBS showing what it's recording. 
So long as we still have the shops available for buying things, we might as well have money in case it's items that are worth it but not worth robbing, which are not very often the case. But we also don't have a shop on this floor, so the matic comes in handy. Huzzah, hooray! To the mines three. Mines four, not three. We're just on the mines three. If we were on the mines three again, I would have to cry. My manly, manly tears. Of course, we play a level of mines. Nothing worth grabbing over there. So we will set wrap around here and drop down. Get this sapphire. I thought that was going to blow up the TNT, and I regretted my decision immediately. But then the TNT is just like, it's okay, bro. I'm not going to blow up. Things got much better very quickly. Do want this crate. I also want to try to get this ruby. Perfect. We are building up a decent amount of gold on this run at least. Ropes aren't the best thing in the world, but we are a bit lower on them than we are on bombs, so I'm not going to complain about it. about getting ropes if I'm getting all ropes and no bombs. Because you know, not having ropes is a problem, but not as much of a problem as not having bombs. We'll dig our way in here and get a bomb bag. Be the timing, given the discussion I was just having. Knock out that scorpion and then GTF. That was worth a couple hits of the Matic to get in there for sure. This is a very high scoring run right now, in terms of just the amount of gems. Um, we'll have to use a gold to get the dog, I think that's worth it. There's a couple more emeralds over here, after the one we can get easily right in front of us. We can also try to get that ruby. That guy won't get mad unless we actually break into his ball. Oh, but there's a block over there. I didn't think that through very well, my bad. Get this gold bar back here. And onwards to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We got another altar, so we can get the Kapala, which is real good. If you didn't know, by this point, I am quite a big fan of the Kapala. Oh, that was annoying, but make it work. I didn't plan to cross those spikes there. I'm gonna get rid of these TV traps before they cause me trouble. I didn't hear the damn zone, but I haven't seen it yet. Sure, we couldn't quite see well enough to be possible just yet. Nothing going on over here. Oh god, bro. The damsel being over here. We're going to the Oh god, I messed that rope up. Cause me problems, quite frankly. Take this damsel back up to the altar as this waterfall just spills off into nothingness. And we get our bomb. Excellent. We get a little bit of blood to 
start off with this guy. And now, as long as our black market has something decent like a cape or something like that. A cape or jetpack. Wow, you're a troll king. Black market, here we come. So we got a decent amount of bombs, we can certainly afford to spend some, killing some shopkeepers, as you know, we are bound to do. Climbing gloves, a lot of bombs, some spike shoes, some more bombs, nothing all that great so far, honestly. And a lot of bombs is helpful, but that's pretty much all we're getting is bombs. But hey. Nobody ever said I was willing to buy out the black market. Oh, no, almost got him. Did get him. Excellent. After a push, we just killed that guy. We can blow up this sticky trap to be safe. Because otherwise we could very well end up getting killed by it. That guy was real easy to kill. If I was going for a speedrun, that teleporter would be real nice, but we aren't going for a speedrun. So I think at this point we've got everything that we actually want from the black market. We kill this shopkeeper where it's gone. Excellent. And now we really have everything we want, including the I'm not including that in my first statement. So we're going to bomb our way down. So we we'll surely make our way to the exit. Where we can move on to the next level of the jungle and hopefully make some things happen. Despite not that great of a black market. You know, we do have like 50 bombs now, but not much besides that. Which is actually kind of rare for when you rob all the black markets to have nothing but bombs. Get some help from that dude. There's a vault that if we had gotten a jetpack, I would be more than happy to ghost, but instead we are going to uh, save a bee. Take out this snail before it causes us problems. Of course, now we can start my usual strategy of whipping damsels before picking them up. Oh god, that bubble. Not welcome here. You need a frog. And drop our shotgun down here. Get some blood from the damsel. Put the damsel down in the corner. Get a little bit more, although most of that splashed away from us. Now, of course, the problem here is. Shopkeepers on the same level as where our shotgun is found. Well, we have a nice angle to just shoot him. here. Which got him dead really quick. So now uh, let's go get the rest of these gold pieces over here. Then we're going to grab our shotgun and move our way onwards. To the ice caves we go, I believe. Nope, one more jungle level. I was wrong. I was wrong. We are at 8 health, of course, unfortunately. That doesn't matter for much once we get to the ice caves. We we'll need to sacrifice ourselves and be put right back at 4 health. But for the time being, in terms of survival, things are going well for us. some ropes, not as good as I was hoping for, but something at least. Fill this plant before we even get over there. Don't let it become an issue. Same thing with Mr. Frog there, although he's got to hit on me somehow. And over here. Stop on that frog, and then we gotta deal with this. Oh, 
shopkeeper's dead already. That's really good for us. Anything over this way worth getting? Doesn't seem like it. So, oops, there's a couple gold bars up here I might as well grab. Obviously, we aren't really going for score at this point. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't grab more money, because score is good. So the ideal situation would be to run into a second presence level or some other sense of getting a jetpack Two more bomb boxes doesn't hurt, but it's certainly not what I need to uh, make the end of this run by. So right now I've got very little, if any, lateral movement. And I've got the climbing gloves, but those aren't going to help me uh, that greatly when it comes to getting around levels, especially later on in like, uh, the Temple of Hell. You know, here usually the walls are clear enough where you are able to kind of just move around. But when it comes to the Temple, when it comes to Hell, that very much changes. Get out of here because we got nothing left to gain on this floor, let's be honest. Go on to the next world where we find it smells like wet fur in here. That is not that is not what I asked for, game. In fact, this particular level is one of the very safe levels that I'm legitimately afraid of having to go This guy at least. Makes things a little bit easier for us. It's really bad when you don't have a shotgun or leg shoes. And you have to worry about the um, Yeti Man without the, without having any way to kill him. When you have a way to kill him, it's not such a bad level as a whole. Get out of here, not worrying about that shopkeeper. I did not see the head statue on that level. I don't know if it can spawn on that level. Um, so it should be here for us. We have a lot of crates on this level, which I am very happy to see. Spike shoes we already had, machete doesn't help us. Can't bring it with us anyway. This ball keeper, there's another crate. Definitely more important to get another health for the start of our post-sacrifice life. Don't know if I can make this jump. I can't. Oh, but I messed it up. So, we're gonna die. We're gonna restart. That's fine. That's exactly what we needed to have happen on the level anyway. And onwards we go to level 4, which will be uh, Mothership Entry Level, which we will not be going on. Feels like the 4th of July. We have an absurd amount of yetis on this floor. Like, there are usually a decent amount of enemies on the level, but that was a ridiculous start to that. Oh god. Well, that was the most ridiculous way we could have died immediately after, uh, respawning. So, thank you guys for watching, I guess. I guess that's going to do it for this episode. Um, rather abrupt ending right there. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you will to see you next time. Take care, everyone, and see you later.